The strange letter frightened him, but I was also the only one which I ordered, which ordered some comfort. Somebody left their, uh, their torso here. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if anyone needs that, but typically you do, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops, tapped out. And what's this room? Oh, this is just a room. And this is storage. Hmm. It's probably gonna be a lot bigger than the guest room. And what was down this way? This is the door that opened up that we never really actually went into, but probably should have. Ah, a big corridor. So we're actually in the castle part now, it seems like. You have an ascending room. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely <laughs> take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you know what I mean? You understand, you know, whenever you just forget your torso? Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> Always losing that darn thing. So this is an elevator, it seems. An early model. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Probably immaculate, I might even say. The machine room. So yeah, okay, this is obviously just not going to work if I try and use it. So Yeah, that's what I figured. But I might as well get the little thingy, the note for it. So, I'm going to first check the places that aren't required to move forward first to acquire the most amount of stuff I can. So, let's go ahead and rock. What was up here again? So, there's the storage room. And then there's... What was this one? I couldn't remember what the first door was. Storage room and the study. We'll do the study since that also shouldn't be too big. Sir William Smith has been marked. There's no way for him to know that the young man from the other day had such a... Alright, so I said it wasn't supposed to be big, but I clearly have lied. Gravely. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we can find. Tender boxes. Any chests. Um, a bunch of... Sh oh, good. Thank you. I am saved. Who was just like like tearing through this place? The piano. I'll open the piano. Can't play it, but I'll open it. Um Just the study. Okay. Relax. Oh, it's like a, that's the outside forest place, yeah. And that should be the guest room over there, yeah. What's in this place? To my most trusted student and friend of John Weyer, the most remarkable thing that's happened while I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of those orbs I've been looking for. Oh, this is his version of it, I think. Last one odd years. Is inexpectable Heliomers described as Hortus con Concilius, and it was told about underground. My th 
etheric temple. Crowded with the unearthly artifact, the orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands. The texture was smooth and jagged. I'm trying to imagine this in my hand right now. Its color was washed white. While rich in contrast, not enough to describe its nature, it was impossibly an artificial paradox that captured it within stone. I was... So I was staying in a nearby village called Alistadat. Alistadat? I probably butchered that name 17 times over now at this point. <laughs> One of the antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these uh, enigmatic artifacts. They were real! Whoa! As you understand, or as you can understand, the most important discovery of my life is, has become also my greatest fear. As I... In as I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing because the curiosity did my because my curiosity did the best to fight these instincts, and I fetched the orbs from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something follow me. It it bayed yet loudly as it closed in. The beast is the guardian of this orb, and it was in a relentless pursuit. I made my way to the nearby ravine, where I stumbled upon some men fishing on the lake. I tried to warn them when I passed. Um, on a pass, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry and pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tre tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. I, mm, I don't know. Suddenly the blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings of the trees and have, and that turned charcoal. Black with leaves of cinder on the ground and covered the murky water as I pressed through these drenched land, glowing ember. The glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance as I joined in as their pain and fear overtook me. I felt the ground grass. I fell to the ground grasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had kid. I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside of Gina. Um, the guardian had taken the orb from me, but I still had, or, but still until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in that forest. It had been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about this incident. The last time we spoke, uh, you told me, the uh, last time you spoke, you told me about your interest in your ongoing research into mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alistad. <laughs> or Alistad, whatever. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. All right, so the orb that Heinrich had. So they both had an orb? I'm not sure. But I think there's somehow two orbs. Well, actually, it, the orb has just now shown to have teleporting properties. So could they have both had the same orb? You know what I mean? Does that make sense at all? No? Or maybe I'm just thinking out loudly here. Um, let's see. Let us continue our investigation. Uh, and hope for no water monsters. Oh, nice. Uh. Alright, could we not... It's gonna keep doing the same thing as I walk further. There's a shovel or a spade. That'll probably be fuck. Oh, there's Let's a pup. See what you have to offer. No. You son of a bitch. I hate this guy. Well, I guess this is like the 1600, so it's probably like. I should have sharpened the saw. Sense it. It's definitely there. Was he eat like a piece of the shard or some shit? Oh, that is sad. Well, I'm assuming that like it is like the 1600s, so I'm assuming their fucking grasp on you know whatever is pretty shy. I hope this doesn't come back alive and start chasing me or some shit. That wouldn't be very fun. 
Oh my god, it's so long. Okay, it's only one. Canis lupus familiaris, 1685. After a short study, or April 12th, after a short study, it's clear the agitation found among the humans can be found in the dogs. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an in, 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 in danger. In, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not even. <laughs> We're just going to go to response because my brain is just not working right now. Animal to burst with energy. I believe that's the catalyst that is produced in the brain and it's difficult to determine what exactly where and what it is, but I can sense that it reeks cosmic genius. Oh. They inherit the problem of harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from exercise. I must refine this process, the torture of torture. <laughs> torture well to enable any real work to be done more experiment more experiments must be performed but it seems that i'm that only whole human beings are able to produce the amount necessary it might be to their their ability to appreciate uh the severity of the process that is ultimately augmenting their experience of terror so is this man's their man's is this man harvesting fear or like the there's a there's a word for it. It's that gland. They that got fear toxins, whatever you want to call it. How many do I have eight? Okay. Like it's not actually called fear toxins, but like it's that chemical you release in your brain whenever you experience fear. It's probably or maybe it's from the hippocampus. I don't know, somewhere in there. It's another one. I feel like when I touch this, shit's gonna get fucky. <laughs> Anatomy, um, 1658 january 9th further disappointment into the uh, to the antiquarian's latest findings yielding nothing i am still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to power i sense within it i shall pursue more books on the subject but i i suspect that it will be in vain since no research has been made in my particular interest i must attempt to fill the void myself clearly humans estimate more of the energy i or sorry humans emanate more of the energy that i seek but i hope humans will survive as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire sheesh oh It's a mannequin. Mannequin. Okay. Onward to greatness. Maybe. Wait, what? Chambers of the human skull. Oh, I see. These all have like... Milestones of the human anatomy. Ah. Okay. Me thinks going back is not going to be very good. In fact, that glass is probably going to break, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, I actually almost fell off. I didn't know I could do that. Huh. Dude, that like ectoplasm is kind of gooing out the stuff. Ugh. Looks kind of nasty. Um. Oh no! Not like this! <laughs> well. Today I found out you cannot fly in this game. Um, tragically. Uh, we have found that out. It was the worst. <laughs> I got like stuck and like slowly fell in between. That was tragic. Did I lose all my lantern? Oil? Okay, good. Last time it like I don't know, it didn't glitch, but like it fucking like did some shit. I felt like it got rid of my lantern oil and I was hurt emotionally from it. <laughs> Actually kind of hit hard. <laughs> um, so we're probably going to have to find oh, a map. Emergency decelerator. Oh, it's one of these things again. What does this do? 
I don't know what these are yet. When will it be my turn? I have not shown restraint. My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even wasted or has not is not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return, Agapa. Is this that? It's, uh, it's that one guy, right? I trusted you, and I will. Or I was. It was I who, in all fairness, should have been. <laughs> who should have entered that gate? Oh, did he go somewhere? Elevator schematic. So is this where the elevator, elevator, elevator stuff is? Oh, nice. I can refill my thingy. Um, but why do I feel like the second I take this stuff, things are gonna get fucky? Um, let's refill it, I suppose. Okay, let's learn about elevators today. Elevator machine instructions. The elevator breaks down again. Make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before... Oh, it's actually going to be important. Um, so use the steam engine to build up pressures before channeling it into the machinery. Uh, adjust the levers to get it right. Just amount the pressure inside a chamber meter should read up 8, down 8. Make sure that the flow is according to the following chart. Trinity of steam set functions, four phase amplitude, and complete steam flow cycle. Note that all the machine will not check proper for configuration until all rods are inserted. So these rods are what I'm gonna fucking need. Good. My guy's already tweaking. Can we chill? There's some light. Relax. It's a flow cycle rod. Good. Good, 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 good. So. All right, let's skedaddle. Can I actually refill this at all? With my few drops of oil. The lantern is now fully refilled. Nice. I don't really do anything with it, but cool stuff. All right, let's hopefully get the hell out of here and not. Sheesh. Why are we just destroying the forest? I almost just died right there. Did you see that? That was almost tragic again. I was hoping there'd be something in that window. That would've been cool. Yeah, we already checked that way. All right, so we have now finished the study. And now we can move on to the storage, I believe. I don't think we've done shit in storage yet. So we'll see how that goes. Professor Taylor was in the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Oh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Once again, someone's torso. Just Jay chilling. Um. All right, we'll hit storage next, because... I'm trying to avoid that machine room because I'm assuming that's where I'm going to have to put everything together or find the most pieces too. So, storage is unlocked. That's good. He painted heavily, or he panted heavily trying to keep himself from screaming. The machine cabinet had been overturning and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass and grabbed all the sedatives he could.